Yeah, you got to go. Because if you don't, I'm going to forget now. You know I'm 52 <laughs> years old. I cannot remember anything. I play the All intro, you young Kim. people. <laughs> Kim. You go. All you young people, when I say go, I mean go. <laughs> Every, all you people, Zach, hello, y'all. Welcome to the Kim Gravel Show. I'm on a rant, so get ready. It's a rant. It's a summer rant. The kids are out of school. Today's their last day. Thank God. Bo failed an open book Bible test. How do you do that? I do not know. It's the <laughs> word of God. You can't figure it out. You can get an A in physics, but you can't pass a Bible test. Thou okay, shall so, not blank. <laughs> thou shalt listen to your mother, crazy nutbag. But this is what I want to say, and I'm having a rant because I work with all these 30-somethings, and y'all y'all think that us 50-something-year-old can remember things, Zach. I can't remember everything. So when I tell you to hit it, I'm not telling you what to do to be bossy. I'm telling you because by the time you hit it, I will forget it. Well, so it, can I ask you a question, though, Kim? Hello, I, by I've the way. Done Welcome forgotten. to the show. Welcome I've to already, the summer series. Well, I've we'll already forgotten there. it. Kim already oh, forgot yeah. it. I don't think you would freeze no, it. I mean, Did you forget it, Kim? Come on. I had to write it down, but I forgot the whole analogy that I was going to use because that's <laughs> what you do when you're over 50. You're over 50 and fabulous, but you're also over 50 and forgetful. This is the Kim Gravel Show. I'm going to talk to you about how to upgrade your life in small ways to make this summer more successful for you. The number one problem right now with people in their lives is they're lonely. It can cure loneliness. It can cure failure mindset. It can cure financial hardships. I just got still and did what was inside of me. I don't want to win the sprint. I want to win the marathon. That's true success. That's the next QVC, I think. It should be over 50 and forgetful. So, you know what? Don't buy one, buy two, because you're going to forget where you put one. That's actually, forget, that's, that's a good play for QVC. Right hand to God. Right hand to God, I've done it. <laughs> like, I have bought like four ketchups because I, and this <laughs> is what, no, seriously, you bought no, this is true. <laughs> no, even worse. Like, I'll go to the refrigerator. I'll open the door. There'll be the two ketchups. I will close the refrigerator. I'll go to the pantry. There'll be another ketchup in the pantry. I will go to the store and buy another ketchup because I forgot that I saw it in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. It's the summer of success. That's the series. Y'all, it's summer. School's out. Today's the last day. Um, congratulations, by the way. I have a scene. Congratulations. God is good, and we got we through. Made it. We made Thank it. you. And I say we, I mean me and Travis. I'm not talking about the kids. I'm like, Travis and I, we're in our 50s, and we have these high schoolers. And, you know, Travis and I had our kids at 36 and 38, so we... um. We had the best life for six years, and then we had kids, and now he has to have a good life, but we have a tired life. But today's the last day of school, and so I always, each summer with the kids, they can't just sit around and play on their phones and, you know, pick their nose and eat. So um, they can do those things, but they have to have some goals to achieve over the summer. They have to work, or they have to, you know, take an extra class, or they have to, you know, play sports. They have to do something. They can't just sit around. And, um, you know, my son just opened up his business. It's doing so well. It's, thank goodness. He's, he's a hard worker. Um, he it's really cool. He's selling, he's he made. actually opened up a little store selling like baseball cards. Is that right? Yeah. He, and, and opened up an online store too. But this is the thing, like Amazing. he's making tons of money, but he's spending all of mine. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to have to have a, like a finance class this summer. But I wanted to do a series called the summer of success that I do remember. And as Zach and I were prepping for the show, something hit me because this first episode, I want to talk to you about upgrading your life, how to get your upgrades. You know, that's the whole thing is the upgrades. Like, I love it when I'm flying. I know. I love it when I'm flying. They're like, uh, Kim Gravel, you've been, you have a upgrade to first class. Like that is like, you feel like when that happens, you feel like I have hit the mother load jackpot, right? (laughs) This never happened to me, Kim. I've never actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it feels fantastic. I'm way too cheap for that, Kim. I'm, I'm with Travis on this one. You are. God bless. You really I, are. Like I, hey, I'm talking about success here, people. We're talking about upgrading your life because upgrades are everything. Okay, so let's so let's get into it though, Kim, cuz and can I just say for the record, I was this was me like 5 minutes ago. I was like, "Kim, we should talk about the summer success like before we start, like let's let's go through it." And you're like, "No, I have it. Let's go right now." 
And then he, and then like if you, then I forgot, and then I had to remember. And then you forgot because okay, I just, I did go I just, pretty quick, but you still forgot. And then, and then this is, and then welcome to the Jack, show. When I tell you it's time to, I don't know anybody that I say, do you want to upgrade your life? They're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. So what does that mean to you, Kim? So let's get into that because I want to know, you're obviously not well, talking about a spa upgrade or a plane upgrade. Let's talk, let's get into it. No, but I, I'm, I'm talking about little ways to upgrade your life. This is the first episode of a series, a summer series of success. There are going to be five episodes, Zach, where we're just going to give tidbits and things that have really worked in my life. And as I mentor and, and life coach people, it's not even a side hustle. It's just my calling in life is to really yeah. edify and build people up. I and, and people always say, Kim, how do you know that's your calling? Because I do it naturally in the wild. And what yeah. I mean by in the wild, like I, t I tell my team, how does this function in the wild? Can you wear these shorts in the wild? And I mean in the wild in real life, day to day situations. I'm going to talk to you about how to upgrade your life this episode in small ways to make this summer more successful for you as a person. There's three ways that you really upgrade your life. Okay. The first way is create. I truly believe there are three principles, and I, I'm a person of faith, so I believe they're really principles of God that, that really can um, cure loneliness. It can cure failure it can or a failure mindset it can cure um uh financial hardships there's there's three things that really are universal to all of us on how to be successful but today this week we're talking about how to upgrade your life and so i think these three things i wanted to talk to you about today is ways to really see a shift and a change in your life pretty much instantaneously. Pretty okay. much like if you start practicing these things every single day until we meet again next week on this Summer of Success series, well, that's a lot of S's, Summer of Success series, you'll see a change and a difference. Um, and I want to have this dialogue with everybody before we get into it, Zach. I want people to let us know if these worked for them. Okay. Um, but the first one is creation. People get stuck in consumership. Yep. We live, and I'm not going down this road to tick anybody off. I'm just, I'm just saying, think about it this way. Like even in our school systems, which praise God for teachers. I love you so much. You don't get paid enough. You should be paid a billion dollars a week to teach these crazy kids. So thank you. I love you. But I think the education system in this country really does not help this creation process that I'm talking about. Um, I think you have to go and seek that out yourself. So I don't care if you're 12 listening to this or if you're 92 listening to this. If you want to upgrade your life, you've got to stop consuming and start creating. We are taught in schools to consume information. We are taught on social media to consume products. We are taught in uh, the propaganda world to consume their narrative, I want you to stop consuming and I want you to start creating. Now, little ways you can do that, Zach. Um, I love what you said. You said, next week, I love this. This is what sparked it, was what you said to me before we got on air. When you said, I'm going to take this week and I'm just going to kind of like chill and really get creative. Yeah. So why, why did, what did you mean by that? I want you to explain that because I'm going to challenge you a little bit. Uh, Kim, I've been so burnt out. Um, if I'm being really honest with you. Be honest. I think the only thing that's held me together this long is having this show to mm -hmm. as like a, I like to call it like a bedrock or like a foundation that I know like every Monday I'm going to write the show notes. Every Tuesday I'm going to prep the episode. Every Wednesday, you know, we're going to record. Every Thursday I'm going to edit. Every, You know what I mean? Like I have something where I am doing something creative every day. But yeah, man, you know, it's like as, as much as you love doing anything, it starts, you start to get into a routine with it and you're just, you, you stop to feel creative when you're creating. And that has happened to me big time. 
And I think it's because I've moved, I just moved a few months ago and like every single second of my life has been like a to-do list. And I know when I get into to-do list mode, I'm not in a, like a healthy place where like every single thing, including like family time and, you know, my own alone time is like feeling like I'm just checking things off a to-do list. That's really bad for me. So you're going on vacation next week. Um, and I am also going to take some time to go give myself like a mini vacation. I was like, I'm doing it. Like, this is just happening. Yeah. And I, 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 I think people are worn out. So I agree with you on that, but I want to say what I'm talking about when it comes to creation is you have creation is not drudgery and it's not work. Creative part, the creative part of your mind is a place of quiet and rest. Mm. True creation Okay, like, you know, I believe in the creator. So I believe he spoke the worlds and all the, uh, he spoke the word and all the worlds came into order, but it was quiet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when I say to you and everyone listening, to upgrade your life, you have to get quiet and still and press pause on the busyness that we have so that you can get creative. Creative is not action, it's stillness. So you say, Kim, what is the practical thing I can do to ignite that creative spark in me? You can read a book, you can watch a YouTube video, um, you can do something that you love to do, but afterwards, I want you to stop and process and get quiet and watch your mind start creating. Because you, creation and confusion and chaos cannot coexist. Mm. So as long as we keep you busy, and as long as we keep you active, and as long as we keep you chaotic, you can't create. Well, and and to me, I think it's more, it's distracted too. It's like entertained Correct. and distracted. It's like if I'm just Correct. in that hamster wheel where I'm like, every single second that I'm not working, I'm like, ooh, TikTok, or I'm like, whatever. I'm not actually right, spending right. any time Getting quiet like that. That's You're totally right, Kim. That's it. Yeah. And can I say this? Practicality, do it 10 minutes every day. And you can do it at the beginning of the day. There is no, there is no rules. You know, you hear this, do it every morning. Do it when you can, but get creative. And that's how you do it. You do it every morning, right? Yeah, I do it every morning, but I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't had any time to do it in any morning. So I, I, I did it just driving over here. Turned everything off and said, I'm resetting for 10 minutes. Um, and then I came in here and boom, it hit me. The creative happened. Yeah. So to get creative, that is not an active word. That is a silent, quiet, still word. So, so to upgrade your life, you've got to get creative. So to get creative, you got to give yourself at least 10, 15 minutes a day of silence. Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Meet your wellness goals this summer, y'all, thanks to Factors menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. You'll get the food you love with no prep and no mess to clean up. Y'all, I have been talking about how much I love Factor meals for months. Um, so let me just break it down. They're healthy, they're yummy, and they're so fast and they have helped me lose so much weight and I feel full and satisfied. There's no shopping, no prepping, no cooking and no cleaning up. Now, before I was so busy, I didn't have time to eat healthy during the day. So I ate a lot of junk food and y'all, my body paid for it. But now that I have my factor meals, I'm staying healthy and I'm ready to throw on some bell body. Uh-huh. Maybe even a swimsuit and show off my body. You know what I mean? So head on over to factormeals.com slash Kim 50 and use code Kim 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code Kim 50 at factormeals.com slash Kim 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. So make your summer easy and delicious and your body looking good with factor. Number two, you have to connect. Hmm. Okay? You have to connect 
with other human beings. Preferably in person or over the phone, talking, interacting. Yeah. The number one problem right now with people in their lives is they're lonely. I get that probably every single week, 50, yeah, we 60 get that times all a the week. Time. We get that all the time in, in I'm lonely. messages. To, I'm lonely. To I'm lonely. Mm-hmm. So to upgrade your life in this first episode of the Summer of Success, I want you to start connecting. Now, connecting is not just being in a room with other people, Zach. Connection is not just talking to somebody of idle gossip of what's going on down there at the church or the school or at the office. That's not what I'm talking about, connection. I'm talking about where you sit down with somebody, you hear them, you see them, you listen, you process, and they do the same for you. Yeah. Now, you might say, I don't have anybody in my life that's interested in me enough to even listen to me and connect with me. Then go to a counselor. Go find better help and get and, and do that. You just have to get connection. Yeah. Do you hear me, y'all? I, I, I hear you. And I think that that's so important. And as someone that that's not sort of my go-to, right? Like I am... I'm definitely more on the side of being an introvert, if you can believe it, right? Um, I, I, I can see that. But yeah. introvert or extrovert has nothing to do with connection. You being an introvert just means that you refuel when you have the alone time. Yeah. But connection is inevitable. You have to have it. And when you don't have it, you get a deep sense of loss and loneliness. That is a lot of times what's happening to people. It's happening to our young people. It's happening to adults. It's anything that separates you from people is not a good thing. We are designed to connect. Yeah. Y'all, I'm telling you, you've got to create. You have to connect. And you can do that. Call an old friend. Sit down with your kids or grandkids and, and, and just have a five-minute conversation. And connection is not necessarily how long you spend with somebody. It's how deep the, the, the time has been spent, the connection, the quality. Yeah. I want you to verbally have interaction. I love social media and connecting, but hiding through text and hiding through, I want you to go sit down with somebody, have a cup of coffee. Stop somebody in the grocery store and say, you look nice today. Have a conversation. Ask deep questions. Don't just talk surface. Y'all, connection is a deep well. Well, what I, what I was going like to say it, is, is go on Facebook, see someone that has a birthday today and call them. Like, just call them, right? Don't just write on the it. wall. Just use an excuse to call somebody, right? I'm telling you, cre- get still and watch, the, and, and watch and get creative. Let the creative juices start flowing and then act on that. And then two, connect with somebody. Mm-hmm. These things that I'm telling you, spawns other things it brings about other it births other things and i'll get there hold on and number three okay is contribution give and it shall be given to you press down shaken together running over give contribute i tell my kids all the time when they're in sports and i tell my girls in pageants and i tell my i tell other business people other business owners that call me and say kim what should i do ba 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 Are you adding value? Are you contributing? We are are created in the image of God, but we are created to create, connect, and contribute. If you want to upgrade your life, you've got to start being a person that upgrades others. Let me... Woo! Come in it. I love that, Kim. I just I just looked up the definition of contribution. You're going to love this, okay? So tell me. Hit me. The giving or supplying of something that plays a significant part in making something happen. That's right. Yeah. And the thing is, we are told if we are not the point guard, if we are not Miss America, if we don't do this or we don't have this skill or we – let me tell you something – we, we are the team of the human race. We all have something to contribute. Now, what 
what evil, the enemy, depression, whatever you want to call what you're dealing with or what we all go through is trying to do is stop you from contributing. It's trying to stop you from being what you should be in your job, being what you should be in your family, being what you should be in your friend group or your sphere of influence. Contribution is success. Connection is success. Creating is success. Yeah. (laughs) Y'all. I like that, Kim, you, you went from defining creativity and creating as a personal thing, right? This is just for you. It's about stillness and quiet for you. and you. And then yeah. it's like you're moving out and you're just bringing someone else into it. And then you're taking the next step and contributing and doing something else with it. And it doesn't even have to connect, right? Like, the, like step one doesn't have to connect to step three exactly, right? No, but I'm going to tell you, those are the three ways that I have leveled up my life. Those are the three ways that I have. And I, I thought about this last night because I've done it in a way that it was, it was like, it was a, it was a, for lack of a better word, an accident. Okay. When we created our business, we started this business that's so impactful. I didn't look at what someone else did or what someone else was doing or how do I get here at QVC or how do I do this in this reality TV show or how do I write a book like this? Mm -hmm. I just got still and did what was inside of me. Creation is unique. It's like our fingerprints. Mm. Only you can create what you can create. No one else can do it. So when you try to look at other people to to look at how they're successful and, and mimic and copy that, it might work for a little bit, but there's no fulfillment. There's no happiness. It's it's just a knockoff. We call them knockoffs. Yep. And the knockoff is never as good as the real thing. Okay. And that's, again, I think so that's a get, really, that's, you're, you're saying like, that's the consumerist sort of consuming way to do it. You want to do it a different right. way. Like get out of this consumerism mindset. You got to do it a different mindset. way. If get you want to upgrade this, your life. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you want to upgrade your life, you've got to, you've got to be creative. You've got to be an original. You have right. to be you. And how you do that is get still 10 minutes a day and watch yourself unfold in ways that you never thought to connection. I, I, I can't tell you how, I just don't like people. Well, then you're screwed. But you got to find your people. We've talked about this. You into people business, y'all. I, I, I told a group full of executives. I said, you ain't in the product business. You into people business. You can't get anywhere without people, y'all. You can avoid people, block people, be mean to people, be jealous, be hateful, but you can't live without people. We need each other. So you better kind of just pull up your big girl panties and realize, okay, get in the mix, connect. You have to connect with people. Now, I'm not saying you need to, you know, connect with mean, hateful, you got, but you still have to deal with that. Like uh, my, my sons have gone through it with people, you know, you know, how high school is, they mean as crap and everybody just, you know, trying to figure out. And I told my sons the other day, I said, babe, by the time when y'all graduate, you're going to see these people in five years ago. How you, how the kids, you're going to love them. The people that you fought with in high school, you're going to, oh, yeah. how you doing girl? Okay. It's all just, it's all just, we need people. You got to have people. You got to deal with people. You got to live with people. So you might as well learn how to connect. So you got to connect. Number three is contribute. Are you adding value? Because you have value to give. I say this all the time. We need what you have to offer, people. What you have to offer, we need it. And I can say with surety, if you do the wrong things, the right things ain't going to happen. It might look like it's happening for some people. It, you might be in a situation where they, this, they look very successful in the moment. But they might not be. But if you're doing the wrong things to get there, the right thing is not going to happen. And we in the, we in the long game, people. Yeah. I don't want to win the sprint. I want to win the marathon. Yep. That's true success. It's when you look back and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Like, I, I think people think success is money or think success is a platform or think sex, success is like likes on Facebook or popularity or winning a certain game. All that is the result, is the residuals off of being successful. 
it's not the thing that brings you success. If you truly want to upgrade your life, I want you to look at these three things. I want you to, this week, take 10 minutes to create, take 10 minutes to connect, and take 10 minutes to contribute. And I say 10 minutes a day. I, 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 I really mean set a timer and only do it 10 minutes. Yeah. The last thing I'm trying to do is put another to-do list thing that's yeah. going to stress you out. Because I don't know about you, but I have massive anxiety and stress when my to-do list is 42,000 pages long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I love marking it off. I'm one of those people. Like, I love to check it off. But, like, when I, you know, you can do your vision boards. You can do all of that. But, yeah. and all of that is great. But I know it takes, I, t- I, t- oh God, I, told, I, told, I told my boys this. I said, dude, listen to me. If you are even 7% savage, because you have to talk in their language, no cap. <laughs> savage. If you're okay. even 7% savage, meaning if you put in 7% more effort than the Joe Blow down the street or than what is expected of you from your coach or from what your teacher said you need to study for the test. 7%. Yep. Not 100, not 57. You will be one in a million. Yep. That is God's economy. He doesn't need your 100% effort. He just needs the five loaves and the two fish to feed 5,000. And, ha- and in the Bible it says 5,000, but it was more than that because they only count in men. So it's just the 5,000 men. And you know the women had to be there helping them get there because they wouldn't be able to get anywhere without a woman. Okay? Yeah. And they had no babysitters, so you know their kids were with them. So it was probably more like 20,000 people that he uh-huh. fed with five loaves and two fish. Yeah, they had lots of kids. We don't, we don't need your maximum perfect effort. So... So we as people are paralyzed because we think, well, I can't give it 100%, so I ain't giving nothing. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's the consistency in the long. I'm asking for you to give 10 minutes of creation a day, 10 minutes of connection, and 10 minutes of contribution, and your life will be leveled up. I'm challenging you. Do you have the, and look, you ain't even got to try all three. On Monday, do, do creation. Create. On Tuesday, do connect. On Wednesday, do contribute. Whatever. But I'm challenging you right now. Do you have the guts to step out and do it? I believe you do. And I believe if, when it works, I want you to call me. Okay. And call, okay, the number work. is 404 913 <laughs> Four six. Call. Wait, I got it wrong. That's wrong. Hold on, hold on. Four of four. Don't call <laughs> that number. That's Kim's cell number. All right. So Kim's cell number, Kim's direct cell number is it, no. Um, no, leave us a message. This is our answering line. 404 913 6460. Call us. Seriously, leave us a message. We will listen. We listen to every single one. And if you're ready to upgrade your life, join us for this summer series. It's going to be a five-part summer series with practical ways to get you to think about success in a different way, because it doesn't matter the season of life that you're in. You know, we can all stand to get just a little bit better. I know I'm always trying to, a little bit more confident, a little bit happier, a little bit more purposeful, a little bit more content. So if you're ready for that, buckle up, Buttercup, because this summer series of success is going to hopefully encourage you and challenge you a little bit to do things a little bit differently to get a little bit better results. I want to upgrade, Zach. Raise your hand if you want to upgrade. Two hands up. And before I go on vacation, I'm going to upgrade my phone. (laughs) Hey, but don't tell tell Travis. No, I'm not going to tell Travis. I would never. Don't tell Travis. (laughs) All right, right, y'all. Tune in next week when we are going to be talking about um, how to... Be successful in this summer. Like, we're going to take five weeks and we're going to get successful and we're going to do it together. Bye, y'all. Go back, go back, go back. That doesn't make sense to me. Go to crunchlabs. Mm. Go to crunchlabs.com. Let me do it again. Hold on. Crunch Labs Camp. That's what it should say. Camp Crunch, Crunch Labs is not the way to say it. I'm wearing a summery shirt today. 
No, something's just hit me. So you, we got we okay. to go with it. So okay, we've we got to change. Go. we got to change. We're changing. Because yep, I've right. got something. I'm just going to let you go. We're going to wing it. Before I forget. I'm, I'm, we're winging it. I'm just going to yep. start the intro. If you like this episode, here's another one I think you're going to love. Zach, how long am I going to have to point at this? Is this enough?